Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this copper piece, then please keep watching. So I've been wanting to do a copper piece for quite some time now, and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of all the supplies that I'm going to be using, and I will leave a complete list in my description box below, and I will point them out as I'm using them, like I always do. So my paints are copper, Artist Loft, metallic white, Artist Loft. I'm going to be using an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to be framing my piece out with my silver mini mirror tiles. I get mine from my local Dollarama, but you can get them off of Amazon. And I picked this beautiful copper ribbon. It's stiff. I got this from Amazon. I will leave a link in my description box. And I thought it would be perfect sandwiched in between my mini mirror tiles for my frame. I've got my gold crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. My glitters, Laura's Art Corner. This is the Silver Fusion. I absolutely love this. It's a glass glitter. I will leave a link to Laura's Art Corner store in my description box. And if you head over there, you will get a 10% discount off of your entire purchase with my discount code, which is WENDY, all capital letters, 10%. And my other glitters, this is Recollections Extra Fine. It's an amber. I've had this for a long time to do a copper painting. It's very, very pretty. And this is orange. This is Recollections as well. I need a chunky glitter. And this is very close to a copper color. That's also a very pretty color. And I'm going to adhere all of my crushed glass and glitter with my Triart liquid glass. I've got some satin finish Mod Podge. And I'm, I'm going to use this to adhere my ribbon. I've got some painter's tape some brushes and a pencil. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is tape off my canvas where my copper and my metallic white are going to be meeting. I want to come into the center like this as a design. So I'm just going to probably come down four inches this time. Gonna make a mark there and then find my center. So my center is approximately there and I want to come down to approximately here with my white paint. Yeah, that'll be perfect, okay? And then I'm just going to add a little more tape here. Because these are metallic paints, they really show the brush stroke. So even though I'm using just one paint color and no striping effect, I still want my brush strokes to come down my canvas as straight as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Copper Artist Loft Metallic and I'm going to spritz my canvas with a bit of water here. These are quite thick paints. It'll just help the paint flow a little bit better. And I'm going to take this top right off. And I'm just going to spritz my brush a little bit with some water. Oh, this is such a pretty color.
Okay, I'm going to let that completely dry, put on another coat, and I may need a third. I will let you know how many I end up putting when I bring you back. Okay, the copper paint is all dry and I am absolutely loving this color. Like, look at how beautiful that is. And now that it's painted with the copper, I'm thinking that I might switch my white out with the iridescent white instead of the metallic white. I think this, like, this is more of a pearlized color, and I think that would look much nicer with the copper. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, because that um, iridescent white also shows brush strokes, I am going to tape off again so that I can come straight up my canvas because as you can see here, the brush strokes, but the finish with metallic when you see the brush strokes is stunning. And I'm going to get that same effect up top. I only ended up putting two coats of the copper, so I know I'm going to get away with two coats of the iridescent white up top. So once this is all dry and I'm ready to frame it out, I will bring you back. Okay, my paint is all dry and I'm really glad that I went with the iridescent white. It just goes perfectly with this copper. And now I need to add my beautiful copper ribbon to my frame before I put my mini mirror tiles down and this ribbon you guys is very stiff so it's going to be perfect for this frame and I'm going to end up doing a row of three mini mirror tiles on the outside and then a row of two on the inside and then sandwich this ribbon between that. So I'm going to cut my ribbon so that I have lots of wiggle room here with my mini mirror tiles. This ribbon is seven eighth of an inch wide. Okay, and I just have a small craft brush and I've got my satin finish Mod Podge. Just going to add a little bit of the Mod Podge on my canvas. Now my mini mirror tiles have a self-adhesive backing, but I will be gluing them down this time because I want them to glue this um, ribbon down as well. I'm just doing this now to help hold this ribbon in place while I'm uh, gluing my mini mirror tiles down. And I'm using a satin finish. I'm thinking that that will be better for this particular ribbon. I don't want to take any sheen away from this ribbon by using like a matte and I also don't want a high gloss finish on it either.
Okay, so I'm going to finish putting on my ribbon and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I have my ribbon all glued down on my canvas and I am loving this ribbon. It would be nice just the way it is. So now I'm going to add my mini mirror tiles and I have a bunch here already cut up. And I'll just show you how easy they are if, you have, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me do this. You just bend them and then you score them. And what I'm going to do for this particular piece is I'm going to do a row of three on the outer edge and then a row of two on the inside like that. And then I'm going to be sandwiching my ribbon in between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of my tiles so that they fit my frame and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have all of my mini mirror tiles cut out and they are fitting perfectly on all of my corners. It just takes a little bit of fiddling, right? Like you can move your tiles in a little bit or out a little bit and they will eventually line up for you. But if for some reason you just can't get them to line up, make sure that your gaps are somewhere where you're going to be adding your crushed glass and glitter. And then you can camouflage any of the gaps with your crushed glass and glitter. So now this is like a puzzle. And I'm going to remove one piece, glue it, and then re remove the next piece beside it and glue it so that I know that it's going to come back together the way I've laid them out. So I need to take them off the way I've place them and what I'm going to do is I'm this here one right here is going to be my guide when I place this one back onto my canvas and I'm going to use a tacky glue and rather than gluing the back of the tile when I take the self adhesive back or when I take the tape off the back of it I'm just going to put this tacky glue right on to my canvas. I've just got a small little craft brush here. Okay, that's way too much glue. <laughs> I don't need that much. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the backing off. don't have a cloth handy, I just have a piece of paper towel. Now I'm just going to tap it down lightly because it's going to take a while for this glue to dry. And if I have to shift my tiles around a little bit, I'll be able to still do that. I don't really want to squeeze the glue right onto my canvas because I don't want it to get on any of this beautiful metallic ribbon that I don't need it. Like if I just put a nice kind of bead going down the center there where I know my tile is going to be, that's going to be enough. So I'm going to finish gluing on my tiles and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I finished putting on my mini mirror tiles. My frame is all done. And I didn't have to uh, shift my mini mirror tiles at all. 
I just glued them on the exact same way that I had laid them out and then I pressed down the tiles with a cloth. You don't want to use just your bare fingers and I am loving this. This is absolutely beautiful with that copper ribbon. And now it's time to put on my crushed glass and glitter. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is fix up the face of my canvas and the side of my canvas where my copper and my iridescent white is meeting up. And I think the best way to do that is I'm going to add a little bit of my Triart liquid glass. I'm going to be using that to adhere everything today. And I'm going to use my Amber Extra Fine Glitter. And I'm just going to add a bit of it to my um, liquid gloss here on a plate because I'm going to brush it on. I'm just going to take this little stick here. And then I'm just going to dab a little bit I'm trying to stay away from my mini mirror tiles as much as possible. Now I'm going to bring it down because when I do the face, because when I do the face of my canvas, um, my crushed glass and glitter, I'm going to bring it down and do it gradually longer and longer. And if I have to do some touch-ups after all of this dries and I brush it off, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with the sides. Now I can't put any crushed glass on here because it'll just slide off once I put my canvas back on the table. But I think that's going to be fine, just like that. Okay, so now it's time to doll up the front of my canvas. And I'm just going to pour my Triart liquid glass right out of the jug here. And I'm going to follow this line. Okay, and I'm going to take a small foam brush. Just going to push it up to my mini mirror tiles here. I'm just evening out um, the liquid glass on both sides. So I'm kind of pushing it so that it's even on my canvas here. looks like about right and now I'm going to start in the center Make some longer icicles. Okay, and now I'm going to go in between with some shorter ones. Feel that I need to lengthen some of them, I will. Okay, I'm going to come in with a small craft brush and push 
some of this liquid glass into more peaks. Okay, so I'm going to start with my gold crushed filler glass, Ashlyn brand from Michaels. And my orange chunky glitter recollections. Just going to put a little of this on. Just before I put Laura's Art Corner Silver Fusion glitter on. Okay, and now I'm going to take Laura's Art Corner Silver Fusion. And I really want to load it up with this because of my mini mirror tiles. And then this will tie in with those silver mini mirror tiles. Make sure I get it on my peaks. Okay, and then I'm going to finish off with my amber extra fine glitter recollections. Okay, once this is all dry, I will bring you back and we'll brush it off. Okay, so my liquid gloss is all dry and now it's time to brush this off. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick vacuum with the soft brush on my vacuum cleaner and then I will display it for you. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. Oh my, 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 <laughs> this is so beautiful. I absolutely love this copper color. That ribbon is absolutely perfect with the frame. I'd been trying to figure out how I could frame out a copper piece with the silver. 
And that's perfect with the copper ribbon in between and then with some of Laura's Art Corner Silver Fusion glitter in there because then I could do the silver frame, right? As long as I had some silver in with my crushed glass and glitter, it just ties it all together. Oh, this is so pretty. And I do have a copper glitter that I bought when I was buying the supplies to do a copper piece, but it didn't look as copper as the um, amber glitter. What a beautiful, beautiful color. Don't forget to go and visit Laura's Art Corner and get your 10% discount with my discount code. I will leave that in my description box below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it also lets me know that you've enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.